Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and in this video, we're going to practice our percent skills. And having strong percent skills is essential, not only as a student, but just in real life. Just think about how often you see this symbol all day long. You see a commercial about, you know, interest rates, loans. It doesn't make a difference. You're at the store, there's sales. This symbol is everywhere, so you absolutely need to understand percent. And let's go to take a look at this practice problem. Uh, it is a little bit more interesting than a standard percent problem. So here is the question. So we have 31 is 2.5% of what number? Okay, so if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Feel free to use a calculator. I'm gonna show you the correct answer here in just one second, then I'm gonna fully explain how to solve this uh, percent problem. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go take a look at the answer. So again, 31 is 2.5% of what number? We're looking for that uh, mystery number and that number is in fact uh, 1,240. So this is the correct answer. Now, let me just uh, say a few things here, okay? There's, it's possible that you got this answer by just guessing, right? So you're, maybe you're like this, you're like, okay, percent, what do I do? Well, I can do some sort of combination with these numbers, right? I can you know, manipulate these two numbers in some uh, manner and possibly end up with this answer, okay? So that can happen. Uh, it's uh, possible that you really didn't know what you were doing, but you in fact got the right answer. Now, if that is the case, I'm gonna show you what I feel is the best way. Now, you're going to see some of you out there, I'm gonna solve this problem uh, if in fact you got this right, but I may have taken a different path than what you learned in school. So if what you learn, if you understand it and you're not guessing, then stick with that method because a percent could be kind of taught in a couple different ways. As long as you understand what you're doing and not guessing, that's what uh, counts. But if you got this right, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are an expert in percent. Okay, this is absolutely essential. And uh, let's go ahead and get started now. So basically what we wanna do before we do anything else is just review a basic uh, percent prom. So probably the most typical type of percent prom is finding the percent of a number. Okay, so here is a simple example. Let's suppose I wanna find 8% of 30. All right, so how do we do that? Well, just a quick review. What we need to do is uh, convert or uh, write our percent as a decimal. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, pretty easy. Um, there's basically two ways you can think about it. To go from percent to a decimal, what we can do is divide the percent by 100. Okay, so if I took eight on my calculator and divided by 100, I'm gonna get 0 0.08. Now, another way you can think about doing this is let's uh, write 8%. So eight percent. So eight percent is the same thing as 8.0 percent. Okay, I'm only writing it this way so we can clearly identify where uh, the decimal point's at. Okay, so we have 8.0%. So when you divide by 100, what happens is the decimal uh, point gets moved over two places to the left. Okay, so here would be 0.08. Okay, so the result of dividing by 100 is moving the decimal point over two places to the left. So either way, uh, you know, however you think about this, uh, I would suggest kind of remembering um, how to move that decimal point over because uh, typically that's just easier than just to try to remember, you know, by dividing by 100. At least that's my experience, but if you remember it the other way, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so what we need to do again is take our percent and write it as a decimal and 8% is equivalent to the decimal, 0 0.08. And then what we're gonna do is simply multiply by this number. So again, if we're trying to find 8% of 30, we're going to write this as a decimal and multiply it by 30. So 0 0.08 times 30, we can use our calculator, is 2.4. Okay, so another way to kind of say, uh, stating this situation is 2.4 is 8% of 30, right? So 2.4 is 8% of 30. So again, math is a language and you need to be able to translate 
from uh, verbal statements into uh, what I would call uh, variable or algebraic uh, statements, okay? Because this is, in fact, an equation. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you. Now, one other way you, uh, you want to uh, remember uh, percent or think about it is that percent is some part out of a whole, okay? T the definition of percent is actually comparing a number to 100. So if I wanted to define a percent, for example, I would compare that to 100, i.e. create a fraction where uh, the denominator is 100. So 8 over 100 is, by definition, 8%. And uh, the whole is, of course, the denominator, and the part is the numerator. So in this example, 2.4 is 8% out of 30. Well, 2.4 out of 30, we have a part over, uh, over our whole. If we take if we took 2.4 and divided by 30, we would get the decimal 0 0.08, and then we would write that decimal as a percent. And how we do that is to shuffle the decimal point over two places to the right or multiply by 100. Okay, so again, a lot of just, you know, basic review by percent. If you are a little bit rusty on this, you're like, ah, I need some more practice, check out my Math Foundations course. I'm going to leave a uh, link to it in the description uh, below. I cover all of uh, basic math in uh, three uh, chapters. Okay, so everything that, you know, from like elementary to middle school is kind of a power uh, course for those of you that need just need a refresher on basic mathematics to include percent. Okay, so now let's go ahead and actually solve this problem. My favorite way to solve uh, percent problems that are a little more unusual is to use algebra, okay? Because once you understand this approach, just solving any percent problem is much easier. Now, there's other techniques like proportions and whatnot, and you can just re even remember this. If that's how you know percent, then stick with it, okay? If it's working, as long as uh, you are not guessing, that's what counts. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, see how we can solve this um, problem using algebra. So what we want to do is translate this verbal uh, question into an algebraic question. So we're just going to go want, uh, kind of read this sentence and translate it into an algebraic sentence. So we have 31, which of course is 31, is or is equal to. Anytime you see the word is, that is the equal sign. So 31 is or 31 is equal to, so we're going to write an equal sign right there, 2.5%. Uh, now we, we know that we're going to have to change this percent to a decimal, so 2.5% as a decimal. Remember, we're just going to scoot that decimal point over two places to the left, so that's going to be 0 0.025. All right, so we have 31 is 2.5%, uh, which is the same thing as uh, 0 0.025 of what number? Well, in algebra, when we don't know a value and we're just looking for some number, we can use a variable as a placeholder, okay? so. If we knew the number and we took 2.5% of this mystery number, I just know the answer is going to be 31, right? So 0 0.025 times this mystery number is 31. Okay, so all we need to do now is solve this lovely little basic equation. So right here, we have 31 is equal to 0 0.025. Many of you are used to having um, the variable on the left-hand side. In other words, it's uh, more common to write an equation, not like this, 2 equals 2x. Uh, typically, we like to see the equation 2x is equal to 10. So feel free to switch the sides. The left is equal to the right. The right is equal to the left. So I'm going to write this equation as 0.025x is equal to 31. And now the objective is to solve for x. Okay, so how do we do this? Uh, pretty straightforward. All we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 0.025. Again, feel free to use your calculator. So 31 divided by 0 0.025 is going to be uh, 1,240. Okay, so again, uh, you know, algebra is an outstanding uh, tool to solve all sorts of problems to include percent. Okay, now a lot of you, you know, learned percent, you know, in middle school, high school, you know, maybe 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. And if you still remember how to solve these problems, that is fantastic, as long as you're not guessing. Okay, so hopefully this little video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.